In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Mixtrol 8 into 7 billion LLM locally on your Linux instance by using Olama. Olama lets you install lot of models with just one single liner. I'll be also showing you how you can integrate these Mixtrol installed by Olama with Llama Index, which is a framework to create Gen AI applications. So let's get started. Let me take you to my Ubuntu system. Let me show you the version which I'm using. One thing you need to make sure is that you are running the latest version of Ubuntu, which is updated and upgraded and NVIDIA's drivers are installed or whatever GPU you are using. Another prerequisite is to make sure that you have more than 48 GP of RAM. I'm installing this Mixtrol on AWS EC2 instance and I'm using G4DN 4X large which has around 62 gig of memory and it has one NVIDIA GPU. I also have installed drivers so make sure that you meet these prerequisites. Okay so that's done. Now let me clear my screen. Next step is to install Olama first which is very too easy to install. All you need is just this uh, one single liner which is downloading this Olama and then installing it on your local system. So let's wait for it to finish. So there you go Olama has been downloaded and installed and it also created a symbolic look, uh, link plus Nvidia GPU is also installed. That is good. Now in order to install Mixtrol with Olama all you need to do is to run this command Olama run Mixtrol press enter and now this is going to download the whole model which is as you can see on your screen quite big file 26 GB of it and you can also check it out from their website let me take you there then this is the Olama's website if you scroll down there are few of these and you can even run um, their quantized version by selecting it from here but I'm going to go with the full one and if you want the quantized one, just select any of it from here, like Q5KM. And then this is the whole command, Olama run, and the whole quantization which you need to run. And this won't require 48 gig of memory. Okay. Now let's go back to our console. So it is almost 63% done. Let's wait for it to finish. The model download is almost finished, as you can see on your screen. Once it downloads a model, it will start running it and you can start your inference or start chatting with this Mixtrol model. Also, if you're not aware of what Mixtrol 8 into 7 billion is, I have done a few videos on it in great detail, which you can check it, check out on the channel. But in simple words, what, what is Mixtrol 8 into 7 billion is, it's a mix or mixture of 8 Mistral model with 7 billion parameter and each model is exported in one domain. Okay, let's wait for it to come back. So it was stuck at this 99% for a time. So what I did, I just pressed Ctrl C and then ran it again. And it covered it up fairly quickly. So it didn't take, didn't start from the scratch. So that was good. Hopefully this time it won't get stuck. But if it does, because this seems like Docker layers, all you need to do is to run it and it will use the previously downloaded layers from Docker from your cache and then use them. Now I believe it has downloaded all the stuff, I think so, and then now it is verifying the checksum. So let's wait for it to come back. And now it has downloaded it and also verified the checksum, removed any unused layer. And now we can send the message to this mixtrol or chat with it. Let me do it. Let me do some inference. I'll just ask it why line is king of jungle. And remember now this model is running locally. Let's see. Let's look at this response. Pretty good. I would say lo running locally. And this is a full blown model. Remember.
Let's wait for it to print the whole response. Looks pretty good to me. So it has printed the whole response, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's ask one more question. How to climb K2 mountain in Pakistan? Let's see. I'm expecting it to give me a step-by-step -step plan with prerequisites and bit of an intro to K2. Let's see. Taking bit of a time, maybe because I'm using just one GPU. And you can imagine that this is a full-blown model already using 60, um, 2 gig of memory. And it will be interesting to see how much memory it is using while it is running. Okay, so it says that Llama runner exited. You may not have enough memory to run this model. Okay, that is interesting. Because I'm using, um, okay, it's already being releasing the memory but that is fine let me run it again just run all llama run mixed roll it's not going to download the whole stuff again hopefully there you go so maybe instead of the above one maybe let me run it again how, why not how to climb k2 mountain in pakistan there you go so this time it worked and that is correct it is located in the Karakura mountain range and then let's uh, see what it prints out so you can see that it is printing out pretty detailed um, step by step with some of the instructions especially uh, this is the first model which I discussed is Abruzzi Spur which is the, uh, the most common route used to climb the K2 mountain and it's very very famous so this is the first model. I have tried a lot of other models and no one ever mentioned this Abruzzi Spur. So there's a difference, of course. And uh, so very, very impressed by the response for this one. And that's done. Awesome. Maybe I'll just, um, maybe I'll just give it another, I'll just press enter and give it a coding uh, problem now. Okay, sorry, uh, let me, let me get my uh, copy the coding prompt. There you go. So I'm asking it to create a Python app that enables user to register and log into the app on front end, create just one page, which will allow user to upload a CSV file. The same page will have a chat GPT-4 packed chatbot, which will let user to ask questions about that CSV file with the help of chat GPT-4. Let's see if it is able to do. I'll be pretty surprised if it uh, creates any sort of app, but let's see. And you can see that it exited again because of my memory. Let me run it again and ask this question because I'll, I'm very interested to see how, what it does with this sort of coding issue. I'm more than sure it is it would be able to do the simple coding problems, but I just want to see if it is able to create the full app. Let's see. Or maybe it is too much for my system specs. Okay, so I have tried a few times, but it seems it is too much for my system, so I'll let it go. Let me ask it one final prompt and then we will turn with it. So this final prompt is, how can I make myself absolutely unwanted at any gathering? So <laughs> the purpose of this question is to see if model um, give me this negative response or not or shows any bias. Let's see. These actions can, this is amazing. So you can see that it is, it is willing to tell me how to do that, but it is also warning me that it could be detrimental for relationship and social standing. Awesome. And now you can see that it is printing out all the ways you can do that. So this is sort of inverse psychology. If you don't want to be unwanted, then don't do this sort of things. So this is it guys. You can see that it has printed out 10 ways of doing that. Pretty comprehensive list by the way and really spot on I would say. And then at the end it has again told us that um, the uh, detriments and other dangers of doing these things. Anyway, very impressed by this model. Awesome to have it in full on the local system where you can use it. 
unfortunately you cannot really run it on uh, windows at the moment but if you have um, the windows subsystem for linux you can do that on windows 2 but it will run on mac os by using the same commands now this is it for this video for the next one which will be the part of it i will be showing you how to integrate this with llama index that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you are stuck anywhere let me know and i'll be happy to help and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.